You went to the Met Gala in dun, New York dun, this run. week. And this is, a, I mean, this is the biggest fashion yeah. show of the year. <laughs> yes, and it's, people it's like go nuts. I mean, half the people on my staff just don't work that day. So they can see all the clothes. And just see who wore what yeah. at the Met Gala. Let's yeah. look at your, uh, your outfit. You're oh. gorgeous. I was wearing Michael Kors. And so um, you were what? You were Michael Kors. The oh, I thought you said you were drinking Kors. No, all right. there was there was not a Coors to be seen, okay. but Michael was all over me. Yeah, um, mm. <laughs> that didn't sound right. It was it, it was consensual. Consensual, yes. Consensual. Uh, so yeah. so that's what you wore, and how much thought went into that outfit? A lot, but you don't get a lot of choice. So you go with the designer, and the designer sort of chooses what you're going to wear with your stylist, and there's like all this hubbub and to do, and there's a theme for the Met Ball every year. And what was the theme this year? Heavenly bodies in the Catholic Church. The Catholic Church? That's exactly right. Now, so my look was inspired by, so uh, I'm not going to get this correct, but I think it's the third Sunday of Lent. Um, the clergy wears pink to signify the coming joy. It might be the second advent. I don't think that's sure. anything to do with what you're wearing. I honestly... <laughs> that is the coming joy! <laughs> that is the pink component of the coming joy! Okay, here's my question. How do people get invited to this thing? I was not invited. Uh, why am I not invited to the Met Gala? I am absolutely sure you've been invited. You've never been? No, I've not well, been to the Met Gala. Well, last year was my first year invited on my own, and it was very, very exciting. Why am I not seen as a fashion icon? I... <laughs> I think you, that's a reasonable question. You are a fashion icon, and clearly there was some mistake, and your invitation got lost in the mail. You're the best liar I've ever met. You're, I, you're like a chilling serial killer I, who can lie and lie again. Uh, let's talk about some of the uh, outfits that people could wore. Could we please? Because uh, it was amazing. OK, uh, for example, Rihanna. This is Rihanna. Rihanna, Rihanna. was apparently. <laughs> Yeah, right? Um, she was wearing, I believe, um, for Maison Margiela, designed by John Galliano. Um, and I, I, I love that I'm like a fashion critic. Like, yeah, I'm like, what's, she a, was... what's a Maison Margiela? Mais... <laughs> Maison Margiela is an incredible design house oh, yes. uh, that I've loved forever. And right. now John Galliano is designing for them. And um, she's the first woman to ever wear a Pope's hat, I heard. Is that true? Apparently. I who doubt it. Who better than Bad Gal Riri? I'm certain that the, the woman who cleans up, uh, you know, at the Pope's apartment <laughs> once saw his hat there and looked around. What do you mean the Pope's apartment? He has a papal apartment at the Vatican. <laughs> and I'm sure all yeah. the people that work there. Does he? Yes. Yeah, he really does. Are he you does. guys serious right now? Yeah, or are the you Pope the has an apartment. He has no, what's he... called the papal apartment. Yes. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. And it's if he doesn't make nice. his rent, they kick him out. <laughs> <laughs> But no, I think anyone who comes in, I think the guy who's there to hook up uh, Showtime. He tries it on. Like, looks around and puts the hat on, and it's like, I bless you and you're a saint and all that. So, no, I think plenty I of people. I, just so you know, I don't think that the way, that's the way it works. OK, well. I bet but, when people come over there, he goes, you want to try on that hat? Can you imagine? Yeah. <laughs> that would be so oh, cool. That'd be great. Yeah. I hey, he's not in town right now. You want to ride the Pope mobile around? <laughs> <laughs> Did you, did you, okay, so who are the, uh, Katie, uh, uh, Katie Perry wore wings and she came in a chariot. Katie Perry wore giant wings. Yeah. I did see that. I understood that. Okay, wings. I understand yeah. wings. I understand the symbolism of wings and how it connects to God there, and there Christianity. There are a whole bunch of different things. Sometimes it's a designer. They just, their latest collection is what you wear. And sometimes you go with a theme and they kind of create something for you. Yeah. Well, I have a question specifically about Jared Leto. Let's show Jared Leto. Oh, that's the way he always dresses. Now, wait a minute. <laughs> I don't know. He looks like Jesus if Jesus became a rabbi. Yeah. <laughs> Kind of dressed that so, way. I mean, also, they, uh, it's very King Friday from Mr. Rogers. Yes, Mr. yes. <laughs> Let me explain to you. I, I will take Jared Leto in whatever he has on. <laughs> dressed as a pope yeah. or a Jesus or a who? Or a yeah. king. Or a, a king. king. Me too, girlfriend. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Uh, I found that upsetting. That just he was did? Jared. Well, Jared Leto, just he can do whatever he wants. He lives the perfect life. I want to be clear. You could do it, too. I could not. If I showed up dressed like that at the Met Gala, I would be beaten with sticks. <laughs> That's not they would distribute of... sticks to the crowd, and everyone would beat me with them, because that... I can't pull that shit off, and Jared Leto can. That's what walking the red carpet feels like.